We always, uh, I always send out a weather forecast to our players on Tuesday and on Monday the weather forecast was 20% chance of precipitation. On Wednesday it was about 40 and by Friday we were going to have the storm of the century so we changed our game plan about three times. We did what we had been doing all night, just continue with the run game, mixed in a couple play action passes. Um, really our O-line just, our line did a fantastic job tonight having 300 yard rushers. Uh, you know, a lot of that is up to them. And, you know, we knew coming into the game with the weather that we were going to need to rush the ball, and, and we were able to do that. Our offensive line is really playing at a high level. When you consider the kids that we lost, it's probably been the, the most pleasant surprise of our team. You know, you're playing a freshman at right tackle, a sophomore at right guard. and uh, But having a guy like Kevin Murphy and John Collins, you know, the real upperclassmen in that group, has meant all the difference in the world. They've mentored those kids. They've helped them develop confidence. And obviously our quarterback play has been just exceptional. I've never had two quarterbacks play at such a high level so consistently. Coming into the game, we expected bad weather. And you know, we kind of you know, knew we had to establish a run game. And uh, you know, the line tried to pride himself on being you know, the toughest and most physical guys on the team. And uh, you know, we knew we had to get it done in that aspect. And uh, we knew. We had to execute, and uh, you know, 400 yards rushing, almost 400 yards, I guess, is you know not only a testament to us, but our defense as well. And uh, you know, when you're getting three outs, and you know, um, guys on your defense are stopping them, you know, it keeps that uh, motivation going on your offense and keeps those drives going. I think that's just something that we we pride ourselves on and work on week in week out is just taking care of the ball. Uh, we had a chance on Thursday. It was cold and wet and rainy. So we had a chance to kind of get used to it. Um, and that's just been our focus, focal point all season, but especially in bad weather, just take care of the ball, uh, make sure we're executing our assignments. And you know, when you have, have guys, uh, the O-line blocking, you know, it makes things easy when you're not getting hit in the backfield and things like that. Well, we've got two uh, outstanding running backs, that's for sure. Um, we didn't expect Zach to rise to this point in the depth chart this soon, but he's a kid that, you know, when he was down on scout team as the 15 tailback, our defensive coaches would come back and practice. You know, this kid, we can't tackle this guy. And as the head coach and our offensive coaches, we kind of take that with a grain of salt. And they'd say, well, you know, we really can't tackle this guy. And, well, you know what? They're not the only ones. Definitely. definitely. I mean, uh, Swipers are probably the best back in the league, numbers wise. So uh, going in, we sort out a game plan to sort of make sure we stay gap sound and uh, just played hard all game. But last week we just, to keep it simple, we just weren't very gap sound. I mean, guys trying to uh, do too much uh, too early in the game. So I think uh, guys just stayed in their gaps and played hard for four quarters. And that was pretty much the main difference this week. You know, th these kids have a lot of pride. You know, we work hard to motivate our players, but the key is recruit kids that are self-motivated. We have incredibly self-motivated kids. So. I'm sure that uh, whatever we say, you know, they're going to take to heart. But the reason we're so successful is we have kids with great intangibles. We certainly have our fair share of talent. That's obvious. But our kids have great personal qualities.